Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I'm talking about Nintendo because they're now acquiring Next Level Games. Now, what is Next Level Games? Next Level Games worked on games like Metroid Prime Federation Force, Luigi's Mansion 3, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and they also worked on some other games like Captain America Super Soldier, Transformers Cybertron Adventures, and Super Mario Strikers. Now, here's the thing. You may think, oh well, they're kind of already working with Nintendo, and they are. In fact, they actually describe themselves in, on their website now were a triple a nintendo developer and apparently according to the nintendo life article they say however in recent years the studio has described itself as a triple a nintendo developer right now apparently nintendo didn't own this company but they are describing themselves as a triple a nintendo developer so one and i kind of thought this around the time i first looked into this that why would nintendo have to buy them when they're already like describing themselves as a triple a nintendo developer and they already like have been making games with nintendo right do you guys remember rare now, first off, before I get into this, I'm not saying that this is why Nintendo did it or they were even thinking about Rare when they bought this, but these are just my thoughts. You guys remember Rare? When Nintendo and Rare had that great relationship, anyone who played like N64 and played like Star Fox, Donkey Kong 64, GoldenEye, that, those were Rare games. And Rare and Nintendo had this great relationship. Diddy Kong Racing, they had all these games on N64. Then, of course, a little later on, Rare eventually went off. Now, imagine if... Nintendo had bought Rare when they were having this great relationship for the N64. I'm not saying that Nintendo even ever looked at buying Rare, but I'm saying had they bought Rare, Microsoft probably would have never acquired them, and maybe a lot of games would have been quite different and maybe a lot better for Nintendo had they actually still been working with Rare. Because, because only God knows the future. We don't know how companies that may be like best of friends now may turn out in the future. Because Next Level Games has made other games other than Nintendo games before, and perhaps they would have been swooped in by someone like Activision or someone in the future had Nintendo not bought it now. Once again, I'm not saying that Nintendo even thought about the whole Rare thing, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, imagine had Nintendo bought Rare when they were having their good relationship. How things may have changed. I think that Nintendo probably looked at this like, listen, these guys are done making good games for us. We want them to continue making good games for us. Let's make it official, you know? Kind of like how John in Red Dead Redemption did with his wife. Like, she's like, I'm already married to you. But he's like, yeah, but let's make this official before God and everybody else. Let's make this official. And that's what this seems like. You know, they're already having a great relationship. Next Level Games already describes himself as a AAA Nintendo developer. But, but seemingly Nintendo's like, let's make this official. We're going to buy you guys. Let's make this official. Anyway, what do you guys think about Nintendo acquiring Next Level Games? And what do you guys think may come of this relationship in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.